Offshore Communications Incorporated is a Canadian telecommunications company that provides telephone, internet and television services as well as mass media related services. Headquartered in Calgary, Alberta, Shaw provides services mostly in British Columbia and Alberta, with smaller systems in Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Northern Ontario. History Shaw was founded as Capital Cable Television Company, Limited in Edmonton, Alberta, in 1966. The company changed its name to Shaw Cabler Systems Limited and went public on the TSX in 1983. The company grew during the 1980s and 1990s through acquisitions of firms including Classicum in the Toronto area, Access Communications in Nova Scotia, Fundy Cable in New Brunswick, Trillium Cable in Ontario, Telecable in Saskatchewan, Greater Winnipeg Cable Vision, and Vida and Cabler Systems of Winnipeg, which had itself previously acquired Vida Copyright Otron's assets in Alberta. However, two swaps, in 1994 and 2001, with Rogers Cable have resulted in its assets being restricted to Western Canada and a few areas of Northern Ontario. Prior to 2003, Shaw owned cable systems in the United States previously owned by Moffat Communications, serving six communities in Florida, and the Houston, Texas suburbs of Kingwood, Lake Conroe and Lake Livingston. In February 2003, the Florida systems would be sold to Time Warner Cable, while the Texas systems were sold to Shequal 3, as part of its then Cambridge Connections subsidiary. In July 2009, Shaw announced that they will be acquiring Mountain Cable Vision in Hamilton, Ontario, ending a 10-year-old non-competition agreement with rival Rogers Cable. Approval of the purchase on October 22, 2009 by the regulatory body the Canadian Radio Television and Telecommunications Commission, has been granted, and it was stated to be in the public's interest. The acquisition was Shaw's first cable property east of Salt St. Marie since the 2001 swaps with Rogers and Kajeko. Shaw's re-entry into southern Ontario would be short-lived, as its Hamilton system would be resold to Rogers in early 2013. In April 2011, Shaw announced that it would not be launching a wireless network until 2012, but later decided not launch a wireless network. In 2008, Shaw had purchased wireless spectrum for areas covering Western Canada and Northern Ontario. As of April 2015, Shaw has not launched a wireless network and has announced no plans to use the spectrum. In May 2011, Shaw announced its intent to spend $100 million to convert its analog tiered cable service to digital over a 16-month period starting August 2011. Its 20% of subscribers still on analog tiered cable service would receive a free digital cable box rental. This conversion does not apply to basic cable channels, thus subscribers to basic cable will continue to be able to obtain their signal in analog. Switching to digital has the effect of freeing up bandwidth which Shaw plans on reallocating for Internet bandwidth. 100 and 215 bit s Internet speeds will be phased in throughout this time frame. In November 2012, Shaw underwent a corporate rebranding, introducing an updated logo and slogan, along with a new promotional campaign featuring animated robots that live in a representation of Shaw's infrastructure, depicting them as being responsible for how their services work. The campaign was designed by the Vancouver-based agency Rethink, who were also responsible for Bell Canada's Beaver characters Frank and Gordon. In April 2013, Shaw Business Solutions took over in Max's Envision subsidiary, which had built a fiber-optic network throughout Calgary. The acquisition was completed for $225 million. In February 2015, Shaw Communications announced that they will be closing operations for service call centers in Edmonton, Calgary and Kelowna. In turn the company will be consolidating operations in Victoria, Vancouver, Winnipeg and Montreal. They will attempt to augment the efficiency of their customer service. 1,600 Shaw employees, that is 11% of its 14,000 workforce will be affected. However the company will offer affected employees the option to relocate to its centralized offices, apply for a new job at their location, or leave the company with a severance package for former employees unable to relocate. Equals expansion to broadcasting equals.
attempted takeover of three CTV GLOBEMEDIA television stations. On April 30, 2009, Shaw announced a deal to acquire three television stations a Euro CHWI TV in Windsor, Ontario, CKNX TV in Wingham, Ontario, and CKX TV in Brandon, Manitoba, a Euro from CTV GLOBEMEDIA. CTV had indicated that it would shut down the stations, all of which were incurring extensive financial losses, later in the year if a buyer could not be found, and had placed them on the market at a price of just $1 each. However, it was reported on June 30, 2009 that Shaw has backed out of the deal and is declining to complete the purchase. CHWI-TV would remain on the air as is. CKNX TV would become a repeater of London station CFPL TV in September 2009, while CKX TV would close down entirely in October 2009. Acquisition of Canwest In February 2010, Shaw announced an agreement with the financially troubled Canwest, whereby Shaw would buy an 80% voting interest and 20% equity interest in the restructured entity of Canwest pending approvals from the CRTC and others. Three months later, following negotiations with rival bidders, the company said it would purchase the entirety of CanWest's broadcasting assets, including the interests in the CW Media subsidiary currently held by Goldman Sachs Capital Partners. CanWest's newspapers were not part of the Shaw deal and were sold separately to Post Media Network. The acquisition was completed on October 27, 2010 after CRTC approval for the sale was announced on October 22. The Canwest properties are now reorganized into what is now called Shaw Media Division. As part of the benefits package for the acquisition, Shaw will fund improvements to Canadian broadcasting, among them as follows, convert 67 analog over-the-air television transmitters in non-mandatory markets to digital by 2016. Install a satellite receiver and dish, at no charge to viewers who lose access to the over-the-air signals. Launch new two-hour morning newscasts in Regina, Saskatoon, Winnipeg, Toronto, Montreal and Halifax. Buy more drama, documentary and comedy programs from independent producers. Invest in new media content that will support news and other programming. Other activities, Shaw is the parent of Shaw Broadcast Services and, through Shaw Broadcast Services, Shaw Direct, one of Canada's two national direct broadcast satellite providers. For many years it also owned a number of radio stations and speciality television services. These assets were later spun off into Chorus Entertainment in an effort to satisfy a now-repealed CRTC policy discouraging cross-ownership of cable systems and speciality services. In 2008, Shaw entered the AWS Spectrum auction with the intention of possibly becoming a wireless phone provider. The auction ended July 2008, giving Shaw Communications enough Spectrum to build a wireless network in its home provinces of British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba and Ontario. Television Shaw has been slowly expanding its television offerings over the last few years, with most of the increases occurring in the HDTV part of the dial. There are full HD channels that have not yet been picked up by Shaw. Shaw usually picks up channels in HD format that have 60% or more of their programming in HD giving customers more high-definition content. Controversy equals Internet usage-based billing equals, in December 2010, Shaw filed complaints with the CRTC to have competing Internet video services such as Netflix classified as broadcasters under Canadian law. In the same month, Shaw introduced usage-based billing on Internet plans and lowered plan caps an average of 25% while introducing overage fees of $1 to $2 per gigabyte. On February 8, 2011, Shaw agreed to put a hold on usage-based billing for its services. Equals complaints equals, customer service complaints are frequent among Canadian cable, mobile and Internet users and Shaw ranked second last for customer satisfaction among five cable TV providers in Western Canada in a 2013 survey by J.D. Power and Associates. It ranked last for Internet providers. Eponymous Buildings, Shaw Barlow, Calgary Shaw Centre, Saskatoon Shaw Centre, Ottawa, Shaw Park, 
Winnipeg, Shaw Conference Center, Edmonton, Shaw Court, Calgary, Shaw Tower, Vancouver, Shaw Ocean Discovery Center, not-for-profit cultural and learning center sponsored by Shaw Communications, Sydney, British Columbia. Equals Gallery Equals. See also. Burning Log, Can West, Classic Hum, Cyber Tip Car, List of Assets Owned by Shaw Communications, Media Ownership in Canada, Shaw TV, Telecom. Notes. External links, Official Website, Shaw Business Solutions, CRTC Chart of Shaw Communications Assets, Company Profile Shaw Communications Incorporated by Institute for Media and Communication Policy.